Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, we're going to show you how to create adjustable swimwear straps with a professional finish using your basic stitches on your basic sewing machine. Learning how to sew swimwear straps really is a pretty essential part of the whole process. So regardless if you're using a pattern, if you're not, follow along with this video because once you know how to do this skill, you're gonna be able to go off and feel confident sewing swimwear for many summers to come. This method includes sewing elastic inside the straps, which gives you extra support to your swimsuit. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe for more videos like this every single week. For the hardware, we've used swimwear sliders designed with a longer internal length gap to thread the bulkier swimwear straps through with ease. This one pictured is called a figure eight slider. Sliders and rings are measured by the internal size. Ours is a size 12 millimeters or half an inch. If you would like more information on the hardware, we also have a tutorial on the swim style blog. This tutorial includes detailed information about the sliders. I will link in the description below. You will need swimwear fabric, six millimeters or quarter of an inch wide elastic, one pair of swimwear sliders and rings, thread, pins, scissors, fabric scissors that is, and a rotary cutter if you have one. In this video, we will be cutting our adjustable swimwear straps to stitch to our Bailey bikini top pattern. This is a pattern that's available on our website and I will also add it to the links below. I've cut my straps and back loops from the Bailey bikini top pattern. If you do not have a pattern, simply place a tape measure at the position of where your strap fits to the bikini top. Take note of this measurement and add 10 centimeters or four inches to this number. This will be your strap length. Cut two straps this length by the width of four centimeters or one and a half inches. Cut two back loops, the six centimeter or two and a half inches long by the same width as the straps. Right sides together, pin the strap and loop sections at the long edges. The seam allowance is one centimeters or three eighths of an inch. I've set up my machine to a zigzag stitch. Stitch in one centimeter or three eighths of an inch in from the raw edge as you stitch the straps together at the long edges. I will now sew the elastic to the seam allowance. This is the section between the stitch line and the raw edges. Place the elastic on the seam allowance one centimeter or three eighths of an inch down from the end of the strap section. Begin to stitch the elastic to the seam allowance. Slightly stretch the elastic as you sew. Stitch until one centimeter or three eighths of an inch at the opposite end. Trim the elastic on both ends so you will reduce bulk when the straps are sewn into the seams of your swimsuit. Attach a safety pin to the end of the strap and turn it out right sides out. Repeat these steps to stitch the remaining strap. Right sides together, stitch the long ends of the back loops together. Now turn the loops right sides out. I have already threaded the slide and ring onto one strap to show you how it would look. Now we will complete the remaining strap. Thread the end of the strap through the slider. Thread it up 
one opening over the bar and down through the opposite opening of the slider. Now thread a ring onto the end of the strap. Thread this end of the strap over the slider but under the previous length of the strap. Pull the end of the strap through just enough so you can stitch it to the strap below. Stitch the strap end in position. I am using a straight stitch here. Trim off excess fabric. Trim as close to the stitch line as possible as it will not fray. Repeat this step on the remaining strap. Thread the short loop through the ring of the strap and pin the ends of the loops together. Repeat this step on the remaining strap and loop. Your adjustable straps are now ready to be stitched to your bikini top. Pin the loop ends together on each strap. Stitch in position. This is what your completed adjustable strap should look like after you have followed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you learnt some new skills today. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next week.